our channel we are back again with a new video so today's topic is 8 python loops example to master in for and while loops so in today's video we are looking at 8 python loop examples that will help you master for loop and while loop and these examples are simple practical and perfect for beginner so we'll start this so moving on to the first one so the first one would be as everyone knows a basic for loop how to create for loop how to initialize it we'll see basic for loop so here we'll use for loop and here we are printing the in range the range is 5 so it will print the values from 0 to 4 it generate numbers from 0 to 4 so the loop runs 5 time and we'll see the output of this so here we can see the output how it generated so the loop is 0 1 2 3 and 4 it didn't print it 5 because it didn't exclude it and now we'll move on to the second one so the second one is loop through a list now I'll show you how we'll loop in a list so firstly for that we'll create a simple list so this is the simple list we created and now using for loop it will print the value of fruit and now we'll see the output of this so here we can see it printed so loops can iterate directly over list item this is a very good quality of list and even of the loops and now we'll move on to the third one so the third one is loop with index so how we'll loop with index we'll use enumerate method to loop with index so simply we'll create a list so this is the simple list we created of cities and now we'll loop this with index so here we can see what happens this enumerate method gives you both index and the value so if whenever we want to know the index of it we can print like this index and the value so let's see the output of this so as we can see it printed with the index and the value so Delhi was in the index 0 always indexing starts with 0 so it printed and with the index it also printed the value this is so easy to print if you need sometimes the index and the value together you can print it like this and now moving on to the fourth one we'll see the fourth one so the fourth one is nested loops means loop in a loop so I'll show you how we'll use nested loops so here we are using a for loop for iterating all the elements and now we'll use another for loop so hence this will create a loop in a loop which we call nested loop and at last will print the value here outer loop repeats two times and the inner loop repeats two times for each outer loop so let's see what output does it give so here we can see the outer loop repeated two times and the inner loop repeated three times so now we'll move on to the fifth one now we have completed the now we have completed the part for the loop for loop and now we'll move on to the while loop so the first one the fifth one is basic while loop so for while loop firstly we'll initialize a variable to one count and now we'll use the while loop so this is how we use basic while loop now we'll see the output of this so here we can see the output it repeats until the condition becomes false means till when your condition is true it will repeat the loop and now moving on to the sixth one so the sixth one is while loop with a break okay so for this firstly we'll initialize a variable num to 1 and then using the while loop so this is how we use while loop with break statement and while true runs forever until the break statement stops it so here we'll see output of this so here we can see its output until the break statement doesn't stop it it wasn't stop so the continuous statement works until the break statement doesn't stop it and now moving on to the seventh one so now I'll tell you continue in a loop so here we are using continuous statement continue skips the current iteration and when x is equals to 2 it doesn't print it so let's see what output does it gives hence we can see when the x was at the value 2 skipped the element and it didn't print it the value 2 so this is how continuous statement works and now move, we'll move on to the 8th one so the 8th one is looping through a dictionary 
Okay, so for that, firstly, we have to create a dictionary here. So this is the dictionary we created. And now I'll tell you how we'll loop in this dictionary. So as you know, we work in dictionary in key value pairs. So we'll work with loops also like that. Okay, so this is how we work looping through a dictionary and the items method gives key value pairs for looping. So now we'll see its output. So here we can see the output of this as it's printed the key and the value. And that's it. We have now seen eight essential loop example to help you master with both for and while loops in Python. Practice these patterns and soon loop will feel completely natural. And if you like this video, don't forget to share, subscribe for more Python tutorials and thanks for watching today's video.